Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on Thursday, September the 8th, 2022. It is 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak. Guys, thank you as we continue this daily devotional. Again, haven't said it in a while. Stand Strong is the title. It's 365 devotions for everybody, by everybody. It says for men, by man, but anybody's been following along. Notice that Genesis 1, 26 and 27 clearly states that man is male and female. And this is out of our daily bread. With that being said, just thank you as we continue to do this daily and getting the word of God in us, tying it in with what the authors are saying, tying it to our own lives, and just allowing God to speak to us. Amen. But anyway, today's title is Longing for Whom? Longing for Whom? And this didn't, this wasn't going where I thought it was going to go, but it's going to be good. I have a, I have a feeling. And our study scriptures today is uh, Hebrews chapter 11. And actually, that's my morning studies. I'm in Hebrews 11 right now as we speak. Uh, Hebrews 11, verses 8 through 16. And our lead off verse is Hebrews 11, verse 16. And the word of God says, They were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Thank you, Lord. And our author, James Banks, goes on to write this. When my wife found me poking my head inside the cabinet of our grandfather clock, she wondered, she wondered, what are you doing? Sheepishly, I closed the door and replied, this clock smells just like my parents' house. I guess you could say I was going home for a moment. We had moved the clock across the country from my parents' house nearly 20 years earlier but the aroma of the wood inside it still took me back to my childhood. <laughs> the writer of Hebrews tells of people who were longing for home in a different way. Instead of looking backward, they were looking ahead to their home in heaven. Hallelujah. This seemed a long way off, but they trusted that God was faithful to keep his promise to take them to a place where they would be with him forever. That's Hebrews 11, 13 through 16 in our study scriptures. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Philippians 3, 20 reminds us that our citizenship is in heaven, not on this earth, guys. And we are to eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Looking forward to seeing Jesus helps us to keep our focus. The past or the present can never compare with what's ahead. The past or the present can never compare with what's ahead. Guys, this is just, this is beautiful. This is tying in with some scriptures we were sending today back and forth between some brothers and sisters of mine about not focusing in on what we see right now, focusing in on that eternal promise from God, our future heavenly home, our permanent home. Oh man, just uh I'm I'm trying to see what the Lord's trying to tell me with you know I got the background there. That's definitely I want to say that's definitely a 1960s, 1970s background, which would have been roughly the time I grew up, you know, the 70s, not the 60s. Um, but looking at that carpet, I recall having that in my childhood, uh, the, the the cassette player there with the eight track and the, uh, the the 45s and the LPs on top. The, I mean, that was that was the sound system there, the wood stove, just things, you know, to remind you of the home you grew up in, where you came from and all that. Guys, it's okay. I, I get it. We want to reminisce. We want to remember home and our childhood. But guys, that, that that can't be our focus. We can't dwell on the past. We can't do that. We have to stay focused on the eternal promise, our eternity, where God has promised the, the house, the heavenly home. Um, right here, uh, Philippians 3.20 saying, our citizenship is in heaven. Our citizenship is not here in the United States or wherever you may be watching this. Your citizenship, once you're a believer in Jesus Christ and have received him in your life, you are now, a, you've got a citizenship card, a passport, an ID, driver's license, whatever you want to call it, is now, it says, place of residence, heaven, heaven, period. Uh, expiration date, none, because eternity doesn't expire. So we have an eternal citizenship in heaven, guys. That's longing for home. Uh, and, you know, I could kind of compare this guy sticking the head, you know, sticking the head in the, the clock and that smell. And we've all had aromas and smells that remind us of something, remind us of our our past home. 
if you want to take that spiritually, just look back on some of the things you went through in your childhood where you now, where you now realize that was God. That was God the whole time. Maybe even before you gave your life to Christ, you knew it was God in your life back then. And just, just get a spiritual whiff of that. If you follow me, just got I me. Mean, I could go on for hours. Some of the things in my past that I know for a fact now, it was God keeping me alive, keeping me going where he sent me, bringing me through all the things I want. I know that was God. And guys, I can get alone, close my eyes and taste that, feel that and smell that what I went through. It reminds me of where I was, but then I can turn to him, give him praise, honor and glory because of his promise, his promises, God's promises are yes and amen. He is not a man that he should change his mind or lie. So guys, this is just a beautiful one on how awesome daddy is and longing for home. That is something that's a mindset uh, right here. Looking forward to seeing Jesus help, helps us keep our focus. We say it all the time. We need to stay focused on Jesus Christ 24 seven guys until he returns um, the past or the present can never compare with what's ahead. So guys, thank you for joining me. Again, Hebrews 11, 8 through 16. There'll be a link on the description of this video. Click it, read it. Read some extra while you're in there if you want to. Um, I love me some Hebrews 11, 6. Uh, I think I sent that today and uh, I got it here on my office wall. Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And we must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So, guys, just Hebrews 11, I love it. I love it. It's right up there with Romans 8 for me. But um, it'll be in the description. Just whatever the Holy Spirit guides you to and wants you lead you to, guys. So as long as you get in the word in you, praise God. Amen. So until tomorrow, which is Friday, hallelujah. I love saying that. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see what the Lord has to say then. Love you guys.